الحمد لله الذي أنزل على أبيه الكتاب وحلم يجعل الله واجب أبدوه سبحانه وتعالى وأشكره وهو أحل الحمد والثناء وأشهد أن لا إله إلا وله لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد نبي رسول ومستافر اللهم صل وسلم على ذكر رسولك محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم Praise be to Allah who revealed the book to his servant Muhammad Sallallahu and did not make any distortion to it. I praise him Allah, the exalted one and the high, and I thank him. It is he who deserves the praise and gratitude. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the one who has no partner, and I bear witness that Muhammad Sallallahu is his servant, is the servant of Allah and his messenger who was chosen by Allah Almighty. O Allah, let your blessings and your peace be upon your servant, uh, your messenger Muhammad, and on his family and companions. Alhamdulillah, bin mean. <clears throat> we thank Allah Almighty always uh, for every opportunity uh, to be gathered and to learn about ourselves, our purpose. Yes, we come through families, <clears throat> we're in groups, we're in communities, we're in nations, we are human beings all over the world. But every soul that has had union with a physical body that is in this world, it was a divine plan for each body with that soul. Each one of us has been given a divine program to be utilized during our time in this present existence called dunya, which is the lowest life. Allah Almighty told the angels that he was going to create the vicegerin on earth that would represent him. And they were very disturbed that Allah may create something that was going to shed blood <clears throat> because they were listening to shaitan and this is what shaitan was putting in their ears shaitan was saying if Allah Almighty is creating someone to be over me I'm not going to listen to him and if he's creating someone that's going to be below me I'm going to destroy him if he's going to be below you why would you destroy him unless you're feeling some insecurity about yourself and this is the whole point that that secret that had caused Adam and Eve to fall out from felicity. It is a secret in all of us that's hidden in all of us that even as a child there's a secret in us. That secret that causes us to be rebellious to our Lord. It causes us to fight one another. Cause families to, uh, to divide. Cause cute communities to divide cause nations to divide. All species that come from each other, they are able to get along. All animals that are alike, they're able to live in communities. And they may fight over a food or something, but it's not a perpetual fight. It's not a perpetual fighting. Birds, they're not a perpetual fighting. Squirrels or snakes or dogs or cats or rabbits or lions or tigers or horses or wolves. They are in groups and they are alike and they don't have a perpetual fighting. Allah Almighty said that he offered that trust to the heavens and the earth and it said, oh Allah, we cannot handle that trust. But the human being stepped forward and says, oh Allah, give me that trust. But Allah Almighty no one can comprehend him. And that's why if he said you angels, I will send angels to you. If you are human beings, I will send human beings to you. Because Allah Almighty works through the level that we can understand. If Allah sends a human being that has that same disease in their hearts that go through a transformation and a purification in dealing with their Lord, then they are sent out to the people to do that and to continue that legacy, that reality. And that's why 
Allah Almighty says that the Prophet, peace be upon him, in the Quran, the present continuous in the Quran is that the Rasul is the present continuous, is in the present continuous, and that is for that time and all times. When Allah speaks about, if you love me, follow my Rasul, Allah is talking about the Prophet and then those who are his inheritors, those who are like him. The Sunnah of the Prophet is being like the Prophet. Not so much in our external, because anyone can be external. Shaitan will be external. Shaitan will come up to you and give salams. Shaitan will look like a Muslim, give salams. But no, we're not talking about the external. We're talking about the internal sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And that part of us, that when they send us here, that secret that calls us to fight each other. You may have two people living together and within a month's time they're fighting. Just two people. No other people around and they're fighting each other. You may have a community for no reason. They find a way to fight each other. You find a nation of people. They find a way to fight each other. Is something in us that's a secret in us that unless we learn about that secret we live like that and we die like that and Allah asks us why are you coming back to me with this in your heart this should have been left in dunya it is from the low life that is the pride in us Shaitan felt pride and he felt proud that he was teaching the angels that Allah Almighty was using him as a Khalifa to keep the jinn in line and to teach the angels. But Allah had another plan in mind. Allah Almighty saw what was in Shaitan. Allah Almighty wanted us to know that that wasn't the best thing to have in one's being. Allah created Adam salam, Eve salam, and he put in them the secret of shaitan and also the secret of himself. So Adam had the nature of good and evil. There goes, thereby starting the scenario of who Allah is and who shaitan is and the prophets who represent the best in us and shaitan who represents the worst in us. It's like a tug of war. We're fighting a tug of war. You have so many people on that side of the line on the rope pulling, so many on this side of the line with the rope pulling. And the one that has the strongest power will bring those other. Not only will they win, but they will bring those that are grabbed to that rope over to this side. It is a tug of war. Allah Almighty has to show who He is. He has to show who Shaitan is. He has to show that that pride is not of Himself. Only Allah Almighty deserves to have pride. But human beings, it's not of us. We don't have the right for pride because we have not created anything. Shaitan has not created anything. So Allah is only worthy of being worshipped. Not man is not worthy of being worshipped. Shaitan is not worthy of being worshipped. Or the angels are not worthy of being worshipped. And so Allah Almighty has to distinguish himself. And he puts us all in a race for all that is good. And what keeps us from reaching the goal is our pride. How many people are really happy when someone else is progressing or succeeding? And no one is happy. No one is happy. Because of that pride. We all come here with that pride. But Allah Almighty is saying to us, don't come to me with that pride. When you finish your life on this side, don't come to me with that pride. Because that pride is from dunya. It is from the lowest life. It is from the low life. 